I'm sure you guys have heard by now. Uh, you know, it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, we're gathering as much information still as we can. You know, more things keep coming up. But, you know, right now Ebony's suspended. She's suspended uh, for sure for the Sunday's game. Uh, and after that, you know, I'll make a decision on what information I gather and, and what's going on. But uh, this is something, obviously, that not only we take lightly, but obviously the nation, you know, shouldn't take lightly. We, we don't take any of this. Uh, you've got to make good choices and good decisions. And um, I don't care if what gender it is, you know, and, and with her and a, a male roommate, a male companion, if you will, got in an altercation and uh, people put their hands on each other. And when people put their hands on each other in an uh, angry manner, it's not okay. Either way. It's not okay, and I, I, I don't take it lightly. I take it very seriously, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate because it's put a little bit of a black eye on our team. Uh, regardless of what the facts are, we're still gathering those, um, but all you see is women's basketball player arrested, and not only does Albuquerque see that or the state of New Mexico, but the nation sees that, and, you know, it, it's unfortunate for, you know, her, it's unfortunate for the players that they have to deal with it and answer to it, and um, it is unfortunate for the staff. So we will uh, take a hard look at what's going on uh, and make a decision off, off the facts and off of things that have been happening, and, and we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't even know what indefinite means, to be honest with you. I mean, indefinite can mean tomorrow, the next day. You know, right now I'm suspending her for uh, the, the Sunday game, and it could go well beyond that. You know, I have to I mean, it, I've spent a couple of days trying to gather some facts and try to gather some information and try to gather the pulse of our team uh, and trying to make a, a decision that's best, not only for Ebony, but for our team. You know, you got a young lady here who uh, made a mistake in some respect, and, you know, she needs to have a little bit of support as well. Uh, but it doesn't mean I condone any type of physical altercation uh, with anybody. And um, so, you know, for, I, I, I mean, I, like I said, I don't know what indefinite means. If I'm not putting a timetable on it, so if that means indefinite, fine. Uh, but I know it's Sunday for sure. Uh, I got a call from Antisha the night that it happened, and uh, she kind of ran through a little bit of what happened, but she really didn't know. And uh, I went over to Ebony's apartment, but that time everybody was gone. And, uh, you know, then again, from, from then till now, just trying to gather everything. You know, what is the police report said, which I haven't been able to get a hold of yet. Um, what's Ebony's side? You know, what what's going on you know what do the courts say and obviously she had a court hearing today uh, but you know what's going on you know what what exactly happened and I uh, you know from there uh, you know and right now it's just gathering information and uh, doing what's best for Ebony and what's best for our program so you haven't talked to Ebony at this point oh I have yeah we've had several meetings mm -hmm. uh, and you know we've we've sat down and talked and she's told me what's you know what happened in her side and um, you know, reading, uh, you know, some of the information, I guess in the journal, I mean, like I said, I haven't gotten the police report and I'd like to see what that has to say. Um, but, uh, you know, Ebony was, seemed to me was very truthful and, and, uh, you know, kind of ran down exactly what happened. And I'm not going to get into those details, but, uh, like I said, it's, it's going to be a decision that I make. I'm going to have a clear head when I make it, uh, in terms of, when or if she comes back. And, um, you know, I wanna do what's right, not only for Ebony, but for this program. And those could be, you know, two different things. Um, but, you know, Ebony is, is gonna graduate in December and she's gonna get a degree. And that's a positive for her. Um, but the biggest thing for me is, you know, we've, I, I've gotta make sure that I don't rush to judgment on anything. 
to dismiss the felony charge. Okay. Basically saying that there was no evidence that she actually threw the knife at her boyfriend, that a knife was thrown but not at the boyfriend. Okay. The judge agreed. Okay. She's not facing any felony charges at this point. Good. Is that going to make a difference in your decision as far as the longevity of this suspension? Well, I, again, I, I mean, I have to gather all the facts. I, I, you know, domestic violence is domestic violence. You can't put your hands on people. I don't, unless you're defending yourself, I don't, I don't believe in physical confrontations. I mean, uh, you know, if you're defending yourself as a man, as a woman, whatever the case might be, I, I get that. Um, but you can't get involved with arguments that escalate into physical confrontations. I mean, you can't, and it's wrong. And people learn hard lessons. You, you see around the country you do. Um, you know, for me, I still have to gather all the facts of what's happening. I think, you know, obviously in the court of public opinion, not having a felony is good. Um, but for me, I have to just make sure that I do the right thing and what's right for our program and what's right for Ebony. Do you feel like that this gives that you have an opportunity to really make a statement uh, when you consider all the all the stuff that's gone on nationally, uh, even an incident with your team mm -hmm. locally this year, and a lot of a lot of way a lot of times things aren't handled the way the public uh -huh. they should be. A lot of times things are avoided a little bit. Maybe the athlete is covered for mm -hmm. too much in a lot of situations. Does this give you as as females an opportunity to, to really say, look, it doesn't matter which side you're on, uh, something has to be done. I don't I don't want to be the poster child for domestic violence and what statement we make. Uh, I think and I truly believe we as a staff and we as a program have done things the right way. Uh, since I've been here, since I've worked for Coach Flanagan and since I've been the head coach. And I'm going to continue to do things the right way and what I feel is right. Uh, and um, that's that's basically the statement I want to make. When you say suspended from the team, do you mean that she will be able to practice with them at all? What will she, she'll have any capacity with this team right now? Not right now, no. It, it'll, it, you know, she'll, right now I think we both, you know, in terms of the team and Ebony, need to take a break from each other. I think right now, um, you know, I have to gather the facts. The team has to move on. Um, and we've got a game to prepare for not only Sunday, uh, but for the next week going to Chicago and playing in the DePaul tournament. How much of a, a blow to the program is this? I mean, obviously she's a great player. She has a lot of, a lot of people who think that she's going to make a big impact here on this team this year. You know, there's no question on all that, but that can't sway my decision one way or another. And I tell you, when you look at this team, we've got great players. And we've got a good team. We're we're deep and we're long and and we're athletic. So, um, you know, not to discount anything on any one of these team members. Ebony has worked hard and and she is a very good player. There's no question. But that's not going to sway my decision one way or another. So, do you think, going, uh, looking forward to Sunday, do you think your depth is going to be able to uh, kind of make up for all her her absence and all that stuff? Well, we should. We have five post players. You know, you know, without Ebony, now we have four. Um, I think that's right. So, or is it five? We have five. We have five. Yeah, we had six post players. Jeez. Uh, and now without her, we have five. So, I mean, our depth is there. Our our team chemistry is there. Our our uh, you know our our practice days. I mean, we've had over 20 practice days and. As a staff, we can honestly say, God, we had one bad day. The one, and I can even remember the bad practice we had. Other than that, I can't, I can't honestly say that we've had a bad practice since we've started practicing. That's a tribute to the team and when we've started. That's a tribute to how focused they are in just being the best players that they can be and getting on the court and playing basketball. Um, you know, our, our schedule is tough, <laughs> and it's a good thing, I think. Uh, and our league, you know, obviously has been tough, but um, you know, we we've got a we've got a we've got a good schedule coming forward, and if if we can get through some of those big programs and um, maybe sneak one or two, that would be great. Siobhan, she was a captain, right? Yes. So whether she comes back or not, is that title taken away?
No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, she's she definitely, whether I decide to bring her back and if she comes back, she definitely won't be a captain. She will not? She will not, yes. She, she will not. Her title stretch, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you, you know. And, She was. I mean, you know, I think she she was very emotional. She was very apologetic uh, to me. Uh, she was apologetic about the situation. Um, she was adamant that, you know, there was two sides to the story, and and there always there always is, and it, that's why you know you have to gather all the facts in every situation. You know, you you do, um, and you know she she was she was accountable, you know, for for her side of it. Um, and again, I mean, you know, Ebony's a good kid. She really is. And, you know, I don't have any bad kids on this team. You have people that make mistakes, and it's unfortunate. Um, sometimes when young people do make mistakes, they'll learn maybe 10 years from now, 15 years from now. Uh, but, you know, again, when you make a, a major mistake and you get something taken away from you, and I'm not saying, you know, she's off the team or anything right now, but when you get something taken away from you, you do learn 10 or 15 years from now. He said, you know what? And you can teach other people. It's a teachable moment. Um, it really is. But, uh, you know. Did in vain? Had she ever been uh, punished? Or like, anything, had anything ever happened where she'd been in trouble with, when it comes to the team or the school? The, there has been. There has been. Nothing major, but, you know, some, some team rules here and there you know, over the course of, what, the two years she's been here. Uh, no, I don't want to do that right now. I mean, there are mostly team rules and in-house rules. Coach, yes. talk about the dis disappointment. I mean, she had the knee injury last year. Mm. It just seems like the Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Yeah. It's just her trying to get on the court. It's just it's one thing after the other. Yeah, you know, that's the disappointing part. You know, you, you, you transfer from a school that you didn't get much playing time. Uh, and then, you know, she was starting off well last year, really well, uh, toward the Achilles. And uh, worked really hard to get back, uh, but like I said, when 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 mistakes are made, you know, there's just uh, it, it's just difficult. It's difficult for everybody, and you know, I mean, you don't want you want to teach in, in a coaching capacity. You want to teach young people everything. You want to tell them, hey, look, trust me, this is not good, or this is good, or this might be a, a bad relationship, or. This, but you know, I mean, in general, and just in a big picture scenario, sometimes young people learn the hard way. Coach, um, there's been a variety of issues um, with different programs at UNM over the last six to twelve months. That deal, and I know you can't comment specifically on whether it be football or soccer or whatever. But as a coach of this university, longtime coach, do you think? Something needs to be done as far as more education, more consequences, or something to the student athletes. You know, I, I give Paul a, a great credit because he has done that, and and the kids have a lot of education. I mean, we talk to them till we're blue in the face. We really do. Um, there's been workshops set up for our kids the last three weeks. There's workshops set up for our student athletes the entire semester and next semester. And that there was a directive from Paul directly, and he's he's really spearheaded that and said, you know what, things have to change, and our young people need to be educated, and and uh, he's done a great job with that. It is hard. It's hard when you have to go through it, uh, and it's not easy for me. It's not easy for the staff, and it's not easy for our players. Like I said, we had from October fourth when we started. I mean, there was there was nothing that was going wrong. I mean, there was absolutely nothing. It, one bad practice in 24, 25. I mean, there was, there was absolutely nothing. We did team building stuff. We met as a team. We, we did a ton of stuff together. I, I, I was about as shocked as when I got the call last, the night before uh, as anybody. And it, it's just, you know, I'm not naive to situations. I know things happen. You know, I know that I can educate these kids uh, till I'm blue in the face, and, and they still might make a mistake, and it happens, and I get it, but it's my job in the position that I am to make sure that people are held accountable. And 
you have to take whether this person's a good player, can she help the team, can they do this, A, B, C, D. That right now takes a backseat to what is best for Ebony and what is best for the rest of this program. Anybody else have any questions about the exhibition game on Sunday? Oh, were we talking about that at all? <laughs> you know, we won't have Antisha on Sunday, and that's the tough part because she'll get cleared Monday. Um, and that was the, the case with her surgery. Um, but, you know, again, I mean, it was an emotional day today, and we had a really good practice. Uh, I'm just hoping to see, you know, with having one exhibition game, us playing together, us um, not making mistakes, you know, um, not turning the ball over, uh, and, and just playing together as a team. We're athletic, we're long, you know, we're hoping to press, we're hoping to play a lot of man, play some zone. Uh, we've, because we have a pretty seasoned team and we went to Italy, we've got an opportunity to do a whole lot of things, uh, and that was a good thing. So um, right now I'm not really teaching them, you know, new things. It's stuff we've done in Italy. We're trying to refine things now, and it makes it nice. Yeah, you know, I mean, in situations like this, it does. And a lot of times, you you know, I've got terrific young ladies, and they've rallied around every situation, you know, with me personally, with whatever the teams had to go through. And they've, like I said, man, things were just really good. Things were really good. And this this group has been a lot of fun to coach every single day. And the days we didn't have practice, I'm bummed. You know, there's times they're like, God, I need a break. And, you know, thank God we have today off. You know, the days we have off, I'm just bummed because they're – fun to see and they're fun to be around and it's an easy group to coach so you know I'm hoping that we just go out and have some fun with the on the court product what kind of team do you have this year run up and down feed down low into the post what what can the fans expect you know all of that we can run if we want to and we want to push it obviously every team in the country says that but we really can run if we want to if teams slow us down we're going to feed it inside as much as we can we've got terrific post players um, you know and and they're really doing a nice job, especially against our scout team, uh, to get it inside, to score on them. And, uh, you know, we've got guards that are really get, doing a nice job of handling the ball. You know, our scout team is quick, they're athletic, and they're relentless, and we've told them to be. And because uh, yeah, our schedule's not easy. So our kids are, are really learning how to handle the ball with pressure, how to make good decisions getting the offense started, and then really managing the game. And it's been fun. So you can be able to play a lot of girls in, like, like maybe 10 girls or more? Maybe That's the plan because we've got players that can play. You know, I, I don't have any kids that, that uh, you know, maybe next year, you know, they'll develop. Uh, whether they play a minute or two or four or five minutes, we've got players that can play. And if we can get up and down, if we can press, if we can – wear teams out, we can play a lot of players. And that's what I like about this team. What about Sharice? I mean, she got hurt. Is she fine now? Yeah, she's back fully practiced. She's probably a little out of shape. Um, but she had a, a slight fracture in her knee, and it was about a two-week heel. And, uh, and she's, she's, she's in practice ready to go. And actually looked pretty good today. She looked pretty good today. She was a little scared the first couple of days. But other than that, she looked good. Anything else for Coach? Cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I've redshirted before, so I've missed 30 games before. And, you know, thank God it's an exhibition game that I'm missing against, you know, uh, hopefully we can build a large enough lead where I wouldn't really be playing anyway. Um, so I think knowing that it's just an exhibition game. It's not about the wins or losses. It's just about getting our feet wet in the pit. That makes me feel a lot better. Talk about, can you repeat that? Um, I think there's a lot of depth, especially because this year our post players, we are in shape. We're running up and down the court, and we're doing well <coughs> together, especially in practice when we do our scrimmages that, like with each other and stuff like that, and subbing the rotations. It all works, especially because all of us can produce. So that's really effective. Right. 
Um, it's not a hundred percent quite yet. Uh, it's a three month health healing process and I got my surgery on the twenty eighth of August and I'm not supposed to be released until the November or November twenty eighth, but it's been feeling great, it's healing fine. Um projected to get released on Monday. So, I mean, I would say it's a pretty fast process. Uh, I would say it's probably around 90%, and I'm, I'm completely fine with that. So are the freshmen working with you guys pretty good, and four, the four new freshmen, are they blending in real good with the team and feel comfortable with them? Um, I would say that the freshmen this year are definitely meshing with us very well, especially because our trip to Italy was was phenomenal for them to just see like how we play, getting to know each other on just chemistry, like outside of the court, and that has rolled over into now, and it definitely helps a lot. Anything else? All right. Sweet. Thank Grace. you.